turn the motor on, drop this down to current. So you can see the amount of amperage that this motor is pulling right now, about 5.7 amps. Motors from the factory, when they are made by the manufacturers, are designed to have a certain amount of loss already built into them. What this device is going to do is take the power that's being wasted and sent out through the neutral line or the ground or disperses in the form of heat is going to grab that excess power and feed it back to the motor 60 times a second. So what you're going to see is this one's going to stay exactly the same because that motor still needs that 5.7 amps of current to run, but this one's going to be cut practically in half, which is what's coming from the power company here. <clears throat> the reason that is is because, again, it's feeding that, that excess power. It's grabbing it. Instead of just wasting it, it's feeding it back to the motor. So I'm going to flip the switch on, and uh, here we go. Now you'll notice again, 5.7 amps stays exactly the same, but now we're only drawing 2.8 amps of current to keep this motor running. There's your savings.